Hi, I'm uh, Chris from the uh, UK Gaming Media Network. Uh, my blog is Unboxed, and uh, I'm here today with uh, John from Gem42. And uh, we're going to talk about Pocket Coin. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Cool. So, uh, do you want to show us the game? Okay. Let me just uh, quickly open it up. So, for those who don't know, Hive is a two player. Uh, strategy game yep. that came out 2001, 2001. Right when we first uh, brought it out as a had wooden. A couple of editions, hasn't it? Now? Yeah, we've had a few of editions. Yeah, so we brought it out as a wooden edition. Yep. So, so this is a travel. Version. This is now the travel version. Okay. Uh, what it includes is the expansions as well. In okay. There. Cool. Uh, we've had. Um, yeah, we had two expansions. Right. So one was the ladybug, yep. which is that, and the other one is the mosquito. If I can find it. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> there you go. There's a the mosquito. Cool. Um, so what you basically have is a boardless chess-like game. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it, is it kill each of this queen bee, isn't it? Is it the queen yeah, bee? Yeah. So they, so you have your queen bees. Yeah. And the object of the game is to surround completely your opponent's queen bee. So once your your queen bee is surrounded to that point, so if yep. you're playing black, then then you would lose the game. Cool. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's your own colour. Yeah. White yeah. or black. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. Uh, in the original game, we had uh, five different types of insects. So we had ants, uh, grasshoppers, uh, queen bees, uh, beetles, and spiders. Right. And each one moves in a different way. Yep, sort of like chess pieces. That's moving. right. Yeah. So uh, you got your spider, which moves one, two, three spaces. Yep. Or in the opposite direction, one, two, three. Yep. You have your grasshoppers, as you can imagine, like a grasshopper. It jump. It jumps, so it jumps across to the next available space yep. in a straight line. So you can jump to there or you can jump to there. Yep. Then you have your ants, just like an ant in nature scurries around and keeps moving. This can move anywhere it likes, so it can move okay. all the way around, finish where it wants. Okay. okay. Then you have your beetle, mm -hmm. which, uh, just like the queen bee, the queen can move one space okay. only, just like the king. Just like ninjas, yeah. This can move one space also, okay. but it can also move on top, on top yeah. which prevents you from moving the thing underneath. Which prevents you from moving the thing underneath. Okay. Yeah. Also, for placing purposes, when you add pieces, you can only add them touching your own colour. Okay. Yeah. So but when you move them, they can be touching yeah. anything. Yeah. So if that beetle was on top of there, even though it's a white piece underneath it, mm -hmm. it's a black area. It yep. becomes a black area, so I can add directly around. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. And that's the way those the basic insects move. Yep. Then you have the two expansions, which the ladybug is the the latest one, which okay. moves one, two, and then one down. Sort of like a knight. Sort of like a knight. <laughs> there you go. So you get a chess have, theme here. Does it have to move specifically on top? It has two. to move exactly two on top and, and then, then one down. But it okay. can get to I mean quite a few number of spaces yep. from that position. So it's quite good. And then you've got the uh, uh, mosquito, which is uh, doesn't have a movement ability of its own. Okay. Well, whatever piece it's touching. So if it was there, yeah, it can choose to move like any of these pieces. Okay. okay. So from over here, it can move one, two, and down, or it can yeah. move around. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you can do. You, there's a couple of rules. So there's one thing you can't do is you can't split the island. So you're not right. allowed to move a piece where it would break the island. So I yeah. couldn't jump that across so there. Stay all connected yeah. together. This is a great way of, of blocking because if I didn't, so I didn't want that to move, yeah, because yeah. my guy could move my ant, say, to there, yeah. he could no longer move. Yeah. 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 Um, and that's basically the game. Cool. Yeah. And so, are there any major differences between Hive and Pocket Hive, or is it. Apart from the, the size, the size, there's no difference. Price? Uh, price wise, yeah. So it's cheaper? Yeah, yeah it's £12 okay. as and opposed to 20 odd pounds for the, uh, for the main one. And then they're about three pounds each for the expansions. Cool. So it's, it's a significant saving, yeah, it's and a big it takes saving. up less space in yeah, your yeah. Uh, comes in your with your a nice collection. little travel bag. Cool. Um, and uh, when is it on sale? On sale now? Is it on sale here today? We have it on sale here today. Okay. Uh, is it on general release? Or? 
It will be after this show. We'll have um, we've got some inquiries already from the stores that we've uh, wanted to take some, so it will start going out to places like Leisure Games and uh, the rest of the, the okay. specialised game shops. That's great. Um, yeah. And where can people find you if they they want to find out more? Uh, Gen42.com, which is uh, yep. gen42.com. Cool. Yeah. Uh, is that it? That's Everything? it. That's Fantastic. The game. Okay. Well, uh, I've been Chris. This has been us live from uh, Games Expo, and uh, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. See you next time, guys. Thank you.